Let's talk about forged versus cast versus flow form wheels. We get it. All the hot boys are running those ancient forged chrome wide setups. I mean, personally, I love the look, but that doesn't necessarily mean forged wheels are the right choice for everyone. When diving into this, you also have to consider how wheels are made and all the different techniques associated with that. Not every wheel is equal to each other in terms of quality and price. Let's go over the different ways on how wheels are made, including cast, flow form, and fully forged wheels. Cast wheels are the most common in the aftermarket wheel world. They are cost effective for the producer and the customer, usually being the cheapest option. There are various methods, but the two most common are gravity casting and low pressure casting. Gravity casting is essentially molten aluminum being poured into a mold and allowing gravity to fill the cavity. Low pressure casting is a little fancier where the molten aluminum is injected into the mold under positive pressure, which ensures a faster and more controlled way to fill the mold. Moving on to flow formed, spun forged, hybrid formed, rotary forged, art formed, you get the point. There's a lot of names that companies use for this technique, but it's essentially the same thing. You can look at these as improved cast wheels. They're designed to be stronger than a regular cast wheel by using a forging-like technique, which also in turn helps them maintain a lighter weight. They have more design options due to the strength added and they're still cost-effective for everyone. Flow form wheels are made by pouring molten aluminum into a mold to create an initial wheel shape, and then the wheel's barrel undergoes a spinning process while heated. This will create the final width and form of the wheel. From there, steel rollers apply pressure, aligning the aluminum's grain structure for enhanced strength. Moving on to forged wheels. These are super popular due to their high quality and originality in the car scene. They come with a big old price tag usually, but most will argue that it is worth it. A forged wheel is still aluminum like your cast and flow formed wheels, but it's typically made from a billet or a large square piece of solid metal. The most common choice of metal is aerospace grade 6061 T6 forged aluminum alloys as the raw material. That's a mouthful. To make a forged wheel, they take the solid slab of aluminum and heat it up under a controlled high temperature. After it's heated, it's then pressed into a smaller block under 8,000 to 10,000 tons of pressure. That's more pressure than you'll feel in your entire lifetime. From there, the block will be taken into the CNC machine where the wheel design will take shape and go through a series of operations to create profile width, offset, and spokes. Finishes are applied afterwards to give it that final touch. Forged wheels can come in monoblock, two-piece, and three-piece options. Monoblock forged wheels are formed with a single alloy piece without welding known for strength and lightness. Two-piece forged wheels are composed of separately forged center and outer barrels, enabling greater customization in offsets and width. Three-piece forged wheels made up of three components, obviously, center inner barrel and outer barrel, which offers even more customizable options. As you heard here, a ton of work is involved in crafting wheels and each one has its benefits and disadvantages. In reality, it comes down to your budget and which type of wheel that is gonna fit your build best. A track car may want to run a flow form wheel so that you're saving on weight without sacrificing quality and can still replace your wheels quickly and cost effectively. Remember, we offer financing so you can build your car now and pay later. Let us know what you decide to do next with your build in the comments below and which type of wheel you think is best. Peace out.